Hey coach, hope you're having a great morning. Today I wanna to talk about the three clients you need to avoid in your business. And I'm gonna break these down one by one. The first client you want to avoid is the parent who doesn't pay and they don't pay on time. This is someone who I used to run into all the time. I would go out to the session and Miss Jones wouldn't pay, or that she would pay me a little bit less money than she owed. And that was my fault, that wasn't her fault. That was because I had it set up very old school. Most coaches out there still run their business the same way I'm talking about right now. They'll show up to the park, they expect Miss Jones will pay them at the field or at the court, wherever you're training. And that's a very lopsided way of running your business because when you run into bad clients, they're not gonna pay you and they're not gonna pay on time and they're going to end up owing you money, which is going to make you not like training their child. That is the first type of client to avoid. The second one is the type of client who always shows up late. That was another big massive problem for me was I had all these kids that would always show up super late to my sessions. They never show up on time and they would always expect for me to train them the full hour even if they showed up 30 minutes late or 45 minutes late. And that is going to kill you because if you have things set up that way, you're never going to have a regimented schedule throughout the day. If someone shows up 30 minutes late, it's gonna put you back another 30 minutes for your following session. You're going to have to delay everyone else because one person's late. So for you, you have to make sure you ignore and you don't accept those types of parents and players into your program. The third one that I wanna talk about, this all comes down to the kids that you train. The students that are in your program, who are they? Are they actually wanting to be with you in your program? Do they want to train with you? Or are they just there because mommy and daddy drops them off? Are you babysitting them or are you training them? And the only way for you to truly get results with the kids that you train is they have to want to be there. They have to really want your training. And these are things that you have to make conditions. You, you have to have your own expectations to attract the right clients in your program. If you don't have that set up, you're going to always have those three negative types of clients in your program because there's not gonna be anything that enforces them from joining your program. And this is something that I personally help coaches with. I recently just updated a brand new contract that I have all of my clients sign. The clients, uh, the parents sign it and the kids sign it. If they don't sign it, they'll never join my program. And it's very strict. And it's something that gives me all of the protection within, within my business so I know I'm training the right type of kids and I'm working with the right clients when I'm talking about the parents. I'm not dealing with any of those problems anymore. And if you need help with that, reach out to me. I definitely want to help you. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.